Hey everyone, Riley here for another short tutorial video from MC State's Biotechnology Department. So we had our first YouTube question the other day. Um, someone named Yuki Okatsu asked, can you go through the unzip process? I'm using WinZip to unzip the Chime image, but even though I unzip it, the file with the red icon does not come up. So there's two reasons that that file won't come up. The first one is that you don't have VirtualBox installed. If you don't have VirtualBox installed, it won't recognize a VirtualBox file type. That's pretty straightforward. Of course, the other reason is if your unzipping tool doesn't know what it's doing. So I don't use WinZip because uh, I suspect I got a virus from downloading it once. I can't prove that's where it came from, but I still try and stay away. Instead, I use 7-Zip. It's a free tool and it doesn't have all those ads that you see on WinZip trying to get you to buy into a fancier version. So I'm going to go through downloading it and basically using it for you. Um, Yuki. So thanks for asking the question by the way. Other people can ask questions too. It's really exciting. Gives me ideas for videos. So I'm going to download this executable file. Yes, you are allowed to install. And it's installed. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is 7-zip. I've already opened up the Chime file. Maybe we can open up a zip file and that'll just show you how the tool works. So I guess I should zip up a file really quickly. Oh, here's one. This Finch TV file is zipped. Um, so I'm going to go up into this um, external hard drive I have and I'm going to unzip this file. I'm going to extract it to I guess I'll extract it to my documents. Um, and then I will press OK. Alright, now it's extracted here in my documents. Here's a folder with everything in it. If I wanted to install Finch TV, it would be really easy now. Um, I should do a Finch TV tutorial one of these days. Anyway, that is how you use 7-Zip. If uh, you can also copy and move files um, and delete them. Uh, but it's a very simple program. Hopefully that answers your question and you're able to use it to unzip the .vdi file. This is the program that I use to unzip it, so it should work for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave comments if you have any questions about this or about anything else, or if you have ideas for a new video, I would love to hear it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you later.